in 1665. Isaac Newton was a young scientist studying at Cambridge University in England. He was very interested in learning all about light and colors. One bright sunny day, Newton darkened his room and made a hole in his window shutter, allowing just one beam of sunlight to enter the room. He then took a glass prism and placed it in the sunbeam. The result was a spectacular multicolored band of light just like a rainbow. The multicolored band of light is called a color spectrum. Newton believed that all the colors he saw were in the sunlight shining into his room. He thought he then should be able to combine the colors of the spectrum and make the light white again. To test this, he placed another prism upside down. In front of the first prism, he was right. The band of colors combined again into white sunlight. Newton was the first to prove that white light is made up of all the colors that we can see. Later on, chemists and physicists have studied the characteristics of emission spectra, which consists of continuous spectrum and line spectrum. Now, let us study how the continuous spectrum and line spectrum are formed. A continuous spectrum is a spectrum that consists of all series of electromagnetic wavelengths. It is produced by incandescent solids, liquids, and compressed gases. A line spectrum is a spectrum that consists of radiation of discrete lines with a specific wavelength or frequency. It is composed of only a few wavelengths, giving a series of discrete lines separated by blank areas. When white light from an incandescent lamp is passed through a slit, then a prism, it separates into a spectrum. The white light spread out into a rainbow of colors, produces a continuous spectrum. The spectrum is continuous, where, all wavelengths are present, and each color merges into the next without a break. Let us consider, for the following experiment, for studying the images spectra of atoms, and molecules. These are the apparatus used for the experiment. It starts with the discharge tube is filled with hydrogen gas. When a high voltage of electrical discharge is supplied, the hydrogen molecules decomposed into hydrogen atoms. The electron in hydrogen atoms absorb the energy, and it is promoted from lower energy level to a higher energy level. This energy level is called, excited state. The electron at the excited state is unstable, and it will fall back to a lower energy level, and release a specific amount of energy in a form of light. The emitted light will pass through a slit. Then, it is separated into its component colors by a prism. Each component color is focused at the definite position according to its wavelength. It's form a colored image on a photographic plate. The colored image are called, spectral line. Let's look at electronic transition responsible for the observed line spectrum. When an electron drops from higher energy levels or lower energy level, a photon is given off in the form light. During the electronic transition, light is emitted on a visible region of electromagnetic spectrum, 